The food crisis can happen at any moment, and it's always better to be prepared. Whether it's due to natural disasters, economic instability, or supply chain disruptions, having a plan in place can help you and your family weather the storm. Here are some tips to help you get ready for a food crisis. Stock up on non-perishable foods. Non-perishable foods like canned goods, dried beans, rice, pasta, and cereal are an essential component of your emergency food supply. These items can be stored for a long time and can help you get by in case you can't access fresh food for a while. It's a good idea to have enough food to last for at least two to three weeks. When stocking up, consider the dietary needs of your family, as well as the availability of food storage containers and space. Build a pantry. Having a pantry stocked with food is a great way to ensure you always have something to eat, even in a crisis. Make sure to include a variety of foods and rotate them regularly to prevent waste. Foods like grains, legumes, and nuts are highly nutritious and can be used in a variety of dishes. You can also consider adding a few cans of meat and fish, as well as dried fruits and nuts, to your pantry. A well-stocked pantry can also provide a sense of comfort and security in uncertain times. Learn to grow your own food. Consider starting a small vegetable garden or keeping a few herbs on your windowsill. This way, you'll have fresh food even when other sources are scarce. Gardening can be a fun and rewarding activity, and you'll know exactly where your food comes from. If you have limited space, you can try growing food in containers or join a community garden. Store water. Water is essential for survival, so make sure to have a good supply on hand. Store water in clean, food-grade containers and replace it every six months. You can also consider getting a water filter or water purification tablets in case the water supply is contaminated. Having a sufficient supply of water can help you stay hydrated and prevent illness in an emergency. Plan for cooking. If electricity is disrupted, you'll need a way to cook your food. Consider getting a camping stove or a portable generator so you can heat your food even without power. You can also invest in a pressure cooker, as it's a great way to cook food quickly without using a lot of fuel. Having a plan for cooking can ensure that you and your family have access to hot meals in a crisis. Get involved in your community. Join a local community garden or food co-op to help ensure that everyone in your community has access to fresh food. You can also join local food banks or volunteer at soup kitchens to help those in need. By working together, you can make a real difference in the lives of others and build stronger, more resilient communities. Stay informed. Keep an eye on the news and be aware of any potential food crisis in your area. Having information can help you make better decisions and take appropriate action when needed. You can also sign up for emergency alerts from local authorities to stay informed of any developments. Being informed can help you respond quickly and effectively in an emergency. In conclusion, being prepared for a food crisis can be easy and simple if you take the time to plan ahead. By stocking up on non-perishable foods, building a pantry, growing your own food, storing water, planning for cooking, getting involved in your community, and staying informed, you'll be better equipped to face any challenges that come your way. Make a difference now in your family's future. You still have time.